Bow. Welcome back, guys. Our van build continues. Um, today, FedEx dropped off something very special that I'm super excited about. Um, we got a package from alvans.com. It's going to be our ladder slash tire carrier. One of the main reasons why we went with the um, Alvans ladder slash uh, tire carrier is because the spare tire on our 2019 Mercedes Sprinter 2500 is mounted underneath the van, which it's not such a big deal. But because we do have a rack on here, or a hitch receiver on here, it makes it really difficult to actually access the tire. Another huge benefit of removing your um, spare tire from underneath is that it opens up the, a huge portion of the underside of your van. So you can put pumps, tanks, cables, plumbing, whatever you want to in that space. So first step, we remove the uh, old tire carrier and the tire. The tire is actually a full size spare. Um, super simple to take off. It's four bolts and it just drops right down. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm wearing different clothes. Um, we had to run to the hardware store for the 10,000th time to get some more stuff that we didn't have. Um, but the first thing we're going to do to install this ladder carrier is actually to swap our hinges on the door. So the ones that came on the um, van that we got were... 270 degree hinges, we needed 180 degree hinges, so we ordered a set from Alvans, and we're gonna take care of that first. So the very first thing we're actually gonna do is we are going to take a marker, and we are going to trace the hinges. So what this is going to do for us is it's going to ensure proper alignment when we get the new hinges on and make sure that we have proper door alignment. Okay, so in order to remove the door, I'm going to be using a T45 Torx bit um, on a ratchet, a 11 uh, socket, and an 8 millimeter socket. All right, so now it's time to take the door off. Okay, so... The little movie part is going to go towards the van. The um, the hinge should fit your uh, where you outlined, so it's kind of easy way to tell which uh, how the hinge goes. Sandy's being an absolute beast over here. It's heavier than it looks. Yeah, when you look at it, you're like, eh, how heavy can a door be? But heavy. Heavy. It's <laughs> the answer. We're not going to tighten these all the way down. We're just going to snug them down. They're going to hold the door so that Sandy doesn't have to. And the reason for that is we're going to check the door alignment. That way we are sure that our door closes nice and evenly like it was from the factory. Lesson one learned. Put the bracket onto the van before you put the bracket onto the door. That way you can move it because it's having to take it off and redo it. Okay, so take two. Um, we're going to start on the van side. All right, so we have the top bracket in loosely. It actually took three people to put it in. One person to hold the door, one to adjust the angle, and one to actually put it in. Um, you might not need three people, but I mean... Yeah, he might have to be stronger than me. So dude in the Alvan video who's holding the door, big props yeah. to you, man. Yeah, much probably stronger than me. Yeah, like. our video is going to be longer than theirs, but still, he held it for a long time. Okay, so... With some difficulty, we put our bottom bracket in. Now we're gonna slowly close the door to make sure our alignment is right. Remember, we did not put the hardware in super snug. Okay, so our hinges are in. Um, important tip. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where when you do it for the first time, it's super awkward and um, once you get them in, I mean, like I said, we're not experts, but if you just fiddle with it, it kind of, for a little bit, it makes sense, and then you just basically put in your screws. So um, now that those are in, we are going to put our ladder in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do for the install is we're gonna locate this uh, steel template here. Um, it comes with another piece that looks 
almost exactly like this, but um, it's actually finished and it has adhesive backing. That is not the template. Don't use that one. We're gonna line it up here to the side, all the way to the end. Now this doesn't have to be absolutely a thousand percent accurate. There is some adjustability in the rack according to Al Vans. So I'm gonna go ahead and make our hole. There we go, voila. Installation complete. I wish. Okay, so our Sprinter is the 2019. So this door card here um, does not have to come off. Pre-2019, um, there's a, uh, these ones just screw off. I guess pre-2019 they don't and they included this little tool to get this door card off if your installation requires it. So, but we don't need this. Um, 3 8 drill bit. Now, some vans have, I'm twirling around here, um, have this area open. We do not. So, if this is open, and it's going to make things a lot easier for you. If it's not, then, I mean, I shouldn't say a lot easier. You just need to make sure that the hole is going to continue all the way through. Now, after all the holes and everything that we've drilled in this van so far, um, I still get nervous when I drill a hole in the van, but here we go. Okay, so the initial sheet metal is going to be super easy to go through. There's a second door dairy support piece of metal in between this door. Um, that's a little bit harder to get through. And then the last portion is, once again, just kind of decorative sheet metal. So, once again, pretty easy to get through. Okay, so now you can see that we still have some blue in our hole. So they include a step up bit and what we're going to do next is we are going to drill out the all the blue inside of the hole. And I'm also going to leave the mounting plate that actually inserts in here. We are going to leave this out so we can periodically test fit it as we continue to clean out this hole with the step up bit. All right, there we go, looks good. Okay, so don't throw away that step up bit just yet. We have one more hole to widen, and it's actually the back one that goes into the back side of the door, if this area is not open, um, which mine is not. So we are going to widen this up um, enough to get our 9 16th uh, socket through to get to the bolt that's eventually gonna be on the other side of it. And they do include this cap, which, will hide your hole, which is pretty cool. All right, so our 9 16 goes in there perfectly. And like I said, we have the little cover that covers up the hole, so you just don't have this big gaping hole in your van. All right, so now that Jed's got those holes done, as with any other hole that we put in the van, we need to apply a little bit of paint um, just to make sure that we don't have any rust, rust problems in the future. So um, I've just got my Rust-Oleum paint and I just, I'm gonna use a little Q-tip so I can get the inside one as well as these outside ones. Okay, so while we're waiting for our paint to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and install the ladder carrier. Um, so apparently Al Vans, they have some that ship with uh, the bolts already welded into the tire carrier. Um, Ours is not that one, so um, that's going to go on a little differently. But we have long bolts um, that are going to go through the side here. Uh, another thing about the tire carrier, um, they also use this for uh, mounting um, boxes and other things on the van. So if your application is a box, you want to make sure these tabs are, are pointed up. If you are installing it for the purposes of a tire carrier, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm actually going to st install it with the, with the tabs up. Maybe I can, I don't know, stick something on there eventually. I'm not sure. Okay, so Al Van says that these should be on super tight. And by super tight, um, on their video, they actually use a torque wrench up to 80 foot-pounds. I do not have a torque wrench, but I do have, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, bow! This thing right here. Okay, if you're at home, you might want to stop and zoom in on this because it's kind of small. But I, I think we can accomplish at least 80 foot-pounds. So now our paint has finished drying in our holes by now, so it's time to put our plate on. 
So it has um, this 3M tape on the back. Do you have to get it free from the... All right, tune in next week when I actually get all of this back off, so. Okay, so our backing is off of our adhesive. So we are going to gingerly and carefully put this thing in. So we wanna make sure that it's lined up. And once it looks good, let's give her a nice hard press. Looks good. Okay, so Jed has everything ready for us to be able to mount the ladder and the tire carrier on the van. So that's what we're going to do next. The first thing you're going to do is look for, there's a bag of um, tools that came with your kit. You're going to look for all of the black bolts, um, washers, and nuts. And then we're going to put them all together and put them on. Okay, so this is the little um, bracket for the top hinge. You're just going to slide your screws in. And then this little guy, you can see there's a little notch here. They are going to fit in just like that. And this is the second um, little bracket that goes down into the bottom hinge. This one is a little different. It's offset. You want the, hole, the holes closest to the right when it goes in like that. And then you can even see here this is a smaller space than this. The smallest space needs to be up. So if you're inside the van, it's going to go in just like that. Screw. Screw. All right, so Sandy's on the other side holding the, um, the plates and the bolts in. I'm going to hang this ladder. We're going to be extra careful not to scratch our paint here. Got the top on first. Over to your right. We are going to put these on hand tight for now. Okay, so this next part you're not going to be able to see very well. Um, I'm going to take a washer off at a time, lock tight the threads, and then we're going to tighten it down. All right. So next we're gonna put this little blue bushing in between the plate that we installed to the door and the tire carrier slash rack itself. Um, this bolt is gonna go all the way through to the inside of the van. And then we're gonna tighten it down. I'm actually using this little Allen wrench to kind of help because it is a snug fit to get that bolt in, but I'm just gonna screw it in until it's into the other side. So we all know that our hole is big enough to get our socket through. We're going to try to fish this little puppy on there, but you can see my fingers aren't going to fit. So I'm going to use my extension. I put my nut in there, so we're just going to carefully get in there and get her started. Hopefully. If you looked at the little blue gasket, we didn't totally crush it against the van. So you're supposed to just so that it compresses slightly. And last, we're gonna put our little cap on here to hide our terrible little dirty deed of drilling a hole in the van. And there you go. All right guys, so now we're going to move back to our nylock threads on a ladder. We are going to put a thin coat of Loctite on them. And when I say thin, I just end up globbing a bunch on there because. All right, so all four of our nylock bolts have been tightened down. We're just going to go over them one more time just to make sure they're nice and tight. All right, so by this point, that is on there rock solid. Time to install the tire. So now we have this ginormous bolt, two washers, a lock washer, and a nut. So I already put our first, first washer on. Feel 
it through here. Our other flat washer. Then our lock washer. Spin it all the way down. We're not going to tighten it down just yet because we need to find out where exactly our tire fits in on this because we need this centered with the tire. All right, Q tire. Sandy's going to move this as I, as we get to center this on the tire. Okay. There's this rubber piece that goes over the big bolt and that should be show you where the center of this is it doesn't have to be exact the hole's kind of big so but i think that's a good position to lock it down okay now we're gonna tighten our piece of all thread so we just took a little marker and marked where um this bolt should be on the back so we can pull the tire back off and then lock this completely down then we'll throw the tire back on ladder and tire carrier oh so one thing we don't have yet is uh, there is a hole through your all thread here so uh, you can add a padlock there so people don't run away with your tire um, something that we're getting really soon in the two side posts you have to put them in the what the side posts Inside posts. I forgot about this. Thanks, Sandy. Extra little footsteps. All right, test time. Go, Jed, go. Go, Jed, go. <laughs> if this thing falls apart and I die, then. Pretty solid. All right, so. Looks good. Looks good, I really like it. So overall, the quality of the ladder and the tire carrier are, they seem really, really solid. So um, only time will tell when we go bouncing down some not so nice roads. Uh, definitely love this. It's, it's a lot easier to get the tire from here than it is underneath the vehicle. Yeah. So the hardest part about this install wasn't the actual tire carrier itself, it was the hinges. And they probably they probably took us longer than the actual tire <laughs> install did. Yeah. Um, but it's once just, we figured it out, it was fine. It's just first time doing something, you know, it takes a while to figure it out sometimes. Yeah, it's a little tricky. In the end, it was something that was really simple. Yeah. That you just kind of have to play with it a little bit, but it's just made harder by the fact that you have to have one person hold the door there really still. Yeah. She's not good at doing that. I'm just so. But hey, in her behalf, it's the door's heavy. That door's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. It's done. <laughs> All right, guys, that's <laughs> gonna do it for this video. Until next time. Stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.